and welcome back to Broken Sword 2 The Smoking Mirror with me and Retro Kaiser. Yep. Alright, let's, uh, now we're on the movie set, so let's talk to the director. What's the name of the movie? Are you trying to be funny? No. It's Treasure Island, the only book I ever read twice. <laughs> I don't recall any girls in Treasure Island. Gotta think box office. People like that kind of thing. What other changes have you made to the story? Just a few minor details. You haven't written out Long John Silver. Are you questioning my integrity as an artist? Of course Silver's still in it. We've even hung on to Captain Flint. His parrot. His trained attack falcon. <laughs> Why do you think blind pews <laughs> Did you say you've changed the ending of the story? <laughs> That's right. Do they find the treasure? Yeah, but that comes later, after they've escaped the volcanic eruption. A volcano? Sure. Krakatoa. All the millions spent on a movie, and nobody thinks to buy an atlas. Who's <laughs> playing Jim Hawkins? <laughs> Haiku McEwen. Haiku McEwen! <laughs> I don't go to the movies too often. A none too <laughs> subtle. Uh, friggin' the Keanu Reeves reference there, Hollywood. I think. <laughs> That's why we're on such a tight schedule. Gotta film the close-ups before he hits puberty. <laughs> Who's the leading lady? Don't you recognize her? That's Sharon Kowalski. Oh, right. I'd never heard of her. <laughs> you know what the locals call this place, don't you? No, but I guess you're gonna tell me. Zombie Island. Zombies? A crazed gleam came into his eye. <laughs> You're just giving him an idea. <laughs> yeah. I want zombie pirates in this movie by the end of today. Oh boy. They would have been Pirates of the Caribbean by like five years. <laughs> <laughs> or, sorry, six. Yeah, this was 97. <laughs> Although, by the way they film this movie, this movie would have been as big as a bomb as Cutthroat Island. Yeah, this is two years after Cutthroat Island. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you know that it wasn't technically Cutthroat Island that caused um, Cal Rocco to go bankrupt? Although it didn't definitely didn't help that it was the biggest box office bomb ever. They were already they were already like uh -huh. fucking broke yeah. uh, by the time when they started yeah. making You're playing Jim Hawkins, uh, Cutthroat right? Island, Jimbo. and then it just. I had Mr. It, it, it turned what was name. already like a disaster Jimbo into like a Hawkins. major disaster. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Yeah. Is on the bright really side, at least I they got the movie finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the, obviously they got the okay? obviously they got like the budget approved born, and everything, but I like it's so small and perfectly. But it's like I, I looked at like all the Japanese movies that Japanese? at one point that like, Kaoroko oh, well, was making around worse. that time, and she they had sh stuff limerick. like Chaplin That's with Robert Downey Jr., Wagons East, which was the last movie with John Candy, and. I don't think and, of what I do as acting. And there, there were other ones, and You're every single one. one of them, like, like, like you know, um, were bombs. They had a bunch of box office bombs. What I'm saying, I'm saying for the kids on the street. Which is what? I'm crap, I'm going nowhere? Huh? <laughs> what are you saying, man? <laughs> I love it that George so just being a complete asshole to everybody. this guy. I'll get a flip chart and explain it to you later, Haiku. <laughs> Haiku, baby, are you ready? Okay, man. Uh, I love those old style cameras. So the only problem with you've been captured with by growing up looking at those cameras, I always bats. thought they were Mickey it's Mouse machine love. guns. That boring <laughs> sound you can hear. It's That's Robert the name Steve of this episode, Steve Mickey Frank. Mouse machine guns. Okay. You know what would be even funnier if they like installed it with like a sound device, and every single time you fire a bullet, it goes like, oh, and it would be like. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> As you're firing, <laughs> like a oh, manic okay. Mickey laugh, <laughs> okay, let's going like, oh, oh, please. yeah, <laughs> action. <laughs> but no, you can totally see why I think Wait, it looks like they look yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I got you, I got you. <laughs> Can't you see we were made for each other? I know, but Squire Trelawney saved my life, Captain Babs. <laughs> why, if it hadn't have been for him. That giant octopus would have made mincemeat out of me. <laughs> but right now, he thinks you're a traitor. He's locked you out of the stockade, ah. Jimbo. That 20-foot high wall with spikes might they, They're so, so, like, obviously man. making fun of Keanu Reeves. Gonna stop me. Which, you know, oh, I, I enjoy, Jimbo. but at the same time, you know, it, it does... 
it pains me a little bit because I actually like Keanu Reeves quite a lot. Hot. <laughs> I, I do too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Did you get the heavy breathing flash? <laughs> Did I ever, boss? We should have made this movie in 3D. <laughs> Hi, crew. You were great. We're setting up for the stunt now, so get a bite to eat. Oh, we didn't get to go talk to the stunt man. Oh, man. I, I should have... I did this in the wrong order. We could have... Savage, on set, damn it. This is like... His name is like Fred Savage or something. I, I, don't, I don't remember. <laughs> Fred Savage? You mean like I'm the Wonder Years guy? I don't know. What... Hi, George Stover. Well, he's about to say. Hello, mate. You're English, right? Blimey, you don't miss much, do you? Bert Savage. Bert Savage. Savage. Yeah. yeah, Fred Savage was the main guy from um, the Wonder Years. I've never watched it. <clears throat> How long have you been in the movie? Before? You need to watch it. It's a good flipping show, years, man. Mate. Absolutely flipping years. I was in the army before that. Thought to myself. You've been risking and you might also remember Fred day. Savage from the lead role time. as the so wizard. So you became a stuntman, just like that? Nah, of course not. I had to I've never seen the wizard. First. <laughs> okay, you should watch that, man. It's a, it's an alright movie. Told me to stand you mainly just watch it for the video games. <laughs> they run me down, straight up. Drove at me with a car. I couldn't believe it. I was up on the bonnet and over the other side before I Not to mention, was there's a very young um, Elijah a Wood in um, The Wiz. No, Tobey Maguire. Elijah Wood was a different movie. The young Tobey Maguire was in The Wizard. Did ah, you ever work okay. with Carol Climax? The Dirty Dashand? I'll say. Flipping princess, mate. I heard she was very beautiful. Mind you, she acted like one too. Holding this, demanding that. Did you ever meet Bertrand de Ubier? Meet him? No. I saw him a few times, though. He didn't like his wife being in films. Do you think Ubier murdered his wife? I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Mind you, there were plenty of people who could have done her in. I thought the public loved her. Yeah, but people who knew her saw the other side. Yeah, lots of sort of details about, like, Ubier's wife. Okay, now we get to talk to Sharon. Actually, I think hey, Sharon. I'm George Stobart. Sharon. <laughs> Hi, Anson, you're cute. I wish it was you playing the lead male instead of that kid. I can't act, ma'am. So what? I bet you can kiss. I couldn't believe I was having this conversation with a real movie star. <laughs> I was about to say, like, I think she has a cameo somewhere in the background of like Broken Sword Five. Like her face is on like on a poster or something somewhere. What's it like sharing the spotlight with an actor who's young enough to be your son? What do you mean? What do you think of Hawk's treatment of Treasure Island? It's okay, I guess. I never saw the original. It's a book. One of my favorites. Really? The novelization's out already? <laughs> <laughs> what part are you playing? Pirate Babs, the ruthless and passionate lady buccaneer. Pirate Babs. Part. I get to kiss a lot, and I kick ass. Like the boots. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, oh, ah, okay, let's, um, all right. We need some, we need some of these buns over here. There's a catering the table. The bun was so stale, it felt like a small rock. And some pancakes. And, uh... You're just making me hungry, man. Yeah, yeah, but we need this for the next puzzle. And there's supposed to be syrup here, too. Where the fuck is it? Is it that it little bucket that's pancake. under the table? No. It's supposed to be on the table, but I can't... Uh, pinpoint it. Holy shit. Is, uh... Hmm. That's weird. Okay. Someone swipe the syrup! I'm pretty sure it's supposed Hi, to be. Hi, I'm George Stope. My name's Harris. Most people call me Flash. You're Is the that it around right? the um, corner? Right. The, uh, on the right Flash. side? You used to be a stills photographer? Nope. I decided not to pursue this. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I, I see it now. It's so what tiny on my screen, honestly. Cube? I can't. What's the thing? Mm. The kid will have earned more by the time his balls dropped than I learn in a lifetime. Good luck to him. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's right there. Oh, it's so tiny. I can barely like make it out because we're, I'm having to play this windowed again. I'm I'm sorry, mm. people are probably tired of hearing me complaining about it, but really that's the only way we can do this. So I can record everything. Like I can't just like do this full screen, which is basically the way you should. I should be doing this. Okay, and this I think is prudent to the puzzle. So I gotta throw this bun into this uh, bush. Well, you just get the bun dirty. No, but because what's in the bush? Those hornets were not pleased. Oh, I should have just taken. As I walked towards the bush, it started buzzing angrily. Is there a there death a scene in this one with a beat with a hornet sting you to death? No, no, there's no more death scenes in this game. Those were now all the ones. Now I knew why that bush was buzzing. Hornets. Okay. I think we have to exhaust all the uh, dialogue options, though, before... Uh, have we talked everything we've... Have we said everything we can say to Hawks? Mm. Mr. Hawks, not now! Okay, no, no, this is the part. Time for the stunt, Savage! It's a short run, bounce on the plank, and somersault over the spikes and stockade wall. Do what? <laughs> Plank spikes wall over. Easy, a child could do it. At my age? You must be joking. I could replace you, Savage. Yeah, with an arthritic baboon. Replace me? Nummy, this could be the last stunt I ever perform. I need to think about this. Get myself in the right frame of mind. A suicidal one would fit the bill for that stunt. Fine, you do that. In the meantime, we'll break for lunch. Oh, great. I'm famished. Stay right there and meditate, Savage. All right. Tidars, little git. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we need another one of these rock-hard buns. And then we, uh... Then we give him the pancake. And, uh... Then, we're gonna watch the magic happen. <laughs> What have you got there? Would you Don't like worry, kids. Paper? It's only I special effects. <laughs> <laughs> the pancake oozed maple syrup all over Bert's chins. Ugh, you put bloody syrup on that pancake. Now it's messed me all up. Yeah, we could have talked to him earlier. Ooh, I've never seen this dialogue <laughs> option. I don't want. I love to how the syrup's got the um, Canadian flag. Well, obviously. <laughs> Because then, it, otherwise, it would look like in. yellow. Uh, Black on it. Yeah. Otherwise, it would just look like yellow goop. So you they need like to put honey? it in there, so just to make it clear. Black hornet. I don't remember seeing that one. Before your time, most likely. What happens in it? Lummy, what don't happen in it? I was shot, stabbed, fed to piranhas, dangled from an airship, and trampled by a zebra. No, I mean, what was the plot? Plot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, now we throw it the rock in the bush, or, or the bun in the bush, and then, okay, and what happens? Those hornets were not pleased. What? I thought that, ah, uh, I gave him the friggin' syrupy bullshit. Do I have to throw another one? This, this I think, is a little bullshit. I, I think it was just because I, I didn't look at the bush when I threw the first bun. But he has the pancake and everything. It should... Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, that's a bit... Get that camera rolling. This could be good. Because you have to look at it and then throw two buns into it. <laughs> okay, the next scene is down on the beach. This is where Hawkins finds the treasure in the Cave of the Crabs. Would those be giant killer crabs by any chance? Giant mutant killer crabs with attitude. <laughs> <laughs> giant mutant killer crabs. The crabs with some attitude. <laughs> now that I was close up, I could make out a small cave near the top of the pillar. All right, this is the last thing we have to do on this beach is this uh on this beach part and then we then it's back off to back to Cuaramonte for the finale. 
Hey, we're close to the treasure. Yeah, yeah. Who? Me? <coughs> I want you to stay right where I can keep an eye on you. I'm not one of your lackeys, Hawks. I go where I like. Not here you don't. The movie company has rented this island for the duration. You're trespassing. Do as you're told or you're gone. Um, all right. I, I'm wondering... Uh, th there's a really funny line we could get from Bert, but I think we have to focus on... Uh... You don't look happy. Why should I be happy? Look at that cave. It's supposed to be where the treasure is. It means the cave behind him. So? Look at it. It's crap. Does that look like the sort of place anybody would hide treasure? I should have had props build me a proper damn cave. A cinematic cave. What do you mean, a cinematic cave? One with drama. Danger. One that looks like the mouth of a big stone skull would be cool, but I'd settle for drama and danger. I was talking to Mr. Savage, the stuntman. Is he all right? What makes you say that? He's not making any sense. The guy's English. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you use that cave up on the rock pillar at the end of the beach? We don't have like a stuntman but anymore. It could be true. Hey, I'll do the stunt. I appreciate the offer, but if you fall, you'll sue us. No, I won't. Everybody hear that? <laughs> I heard it. Good enough, we're covered. Got any experience? Death-defying leaps, desperate fist fights, getting caught in explosions, you name it. Okay, people, move out. We're shooting the scene at the end of the beach. No, we're not. The camera's still bogged down. Oh, yeah, yeah, there was a fist fight in the Shoot, first game. I, I, I was wondering that. what was that no, referring to. Bart. We'll have to use this cave after all. Okay, let's... There's a handheld camera. Flash? Yep. We can't film at the Needle Rock because the camera's bogged down, right? You got it, champ. So why can't we use the portable camera instead? You know, that's a pretty smart idea. Man, you know, these guys <laughs> can't put two and two together. <laughs> I've been talking to the cameraman. He's got a portable camera. So? So you can use the cave in that rock pillar at the end of the beach. That's a dramatic cave if ever I saw one. That's a pretty easy puzzle, we actually. We got a stabilized harness for it. The camera will wobble. Did D.W. Griffiths have a stabilized harness when he made Birth of a Nation? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, damn it. Hitchcock. Well, I like when I talk. I like how they're talking about how the camera wobbles. If you watch it today's movies, they don't really care about that. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a plank. We're gonna win. Oh man. Hot dog. I wish they We're would, honestly. A <laughs> pirate movie. Oh, I do too. I do. It sort of ruins it for me. The shaky cam. Yeah. Star. On my way. All right. One more costume change for George. <laughs> now, now he looks like Johnny Cage. <laughs> Johnny Cage never wore pirate gear. <laughs> no, that was always a DLC costume. Oh, I love how George just stops and the other characters keep walking. <laughs> Alright. And this here, this would be a really nice piece of animation, but there's a little error at the end here that really bugs me. Look at the top of that chest. A completely different color from the Whoa. back. <laughs> it was yeah. the stone which Ketchup captured from the Spanish. The Eagle Stone. I returned to Quaramonte. And another friggin' and jump cut. Look at those underwear on the ground. <laughs> He'd already left the village, so I hurried no, to catch no up. No one's him. doing the monkey when dance, I, arrived, I presume. I <laughs> no, not anymore. And here's uh, Nicole with her South American gear. Well, it just walks right over the friggin' underwear too. Oh boy, the village is in ruins. These sunglasses are George's. Oh no, George lost his George, shades. Where are you? Hey, guess who came back? Hey. Titi Poco, I'm almost glad to see you. Mario, not Mario, huh? Tiki, Tiquito. Titi Poco. Well, t t what? I beg your pardon? Titi Poco. That's his name. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you 
Oh, that was dirty. <laughs> Are you responsible for this? <laughs> you little uh, asshole. <laughs> it's just so, so funny when she uh, says uh, it. He was pointing to the remains of a burned out hut. Alright, I think we'll stop it there. Next time, it's the finale of the Smoking Mirror. Uh, you're leaving us on a cliffhanger, man. You're leaving us on this cliffhanger. Yeah. Bye.